Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly channeled message. Let's find out what the message is for you in the current moment. My readings aren't date specific or time specific. They're you birth them scenarios and they can apply at any given moment in space time you felt guided to the channel by spirit. This um, video is brought to you by Lisa Carney Designs. This is a mother of pearl, beautiful um, crystal ring design by hers. I am going to put her information in the description box, but if you want any beautiful jewelry designed by an amazing Australian designer, check her website out and her Instagram. All that information is in the description box below. You can get some really beautiful healing crystals and I love all her stuff. So this has really helped me with my healing. It really connects with my heart chakra, actually. My heart chakra just got activated. So, you know, wearing these kind of jewels might be something that might benefit you if you're on a spiritual healing journey all right so let's find out what is happening with you aquarius what's happening in your world what's happening with the aquarius energy let's see what energy wants to come through i don't know why but Aqu aquarius energy is always amazing i love aquarius energy what is happening aquarius let's see <laughs> You might be in a mirror soul connection, a twin flame connection, Aquarius. That's what's coming through here. We've got mirroring energy. So we have the swan. Let's see if that is what is going to come through the message today or if you're just a very graceful and beautiful and that's your spirit animal. There's a car accident nearly happening in the street because people in Sydney, <laughs> they drive crazy. And I just saw two cars like trying to um, pass each other oncoming anyway i'm just parked in a quiet area to channel these messages so of course there's chaos around just to distract us right all right so let's find out what's coming through you might have chaos in your life distracting you right now Ooh. Okay, Aquarius, we have the swan and we have, I feel like this is the masculine energy. Let's clarify this. Actually, let's, um, let's sense into this. Okay, so I feel like you're in a twin flame connection actually and I feel like this is um, the masculine energies here. Oh, why do I feel like, I feel like this is the feminine energy we have, sorry, I'm just trying to channel into this. So we have here a swan who's um, in a connection here and she's very graceful. She's very beautiful. You might be dealing with a twin flame or a mirror soul connection. And I feel like with Lisa of the Shadows, I feel like you're trying to break a cycle where you do not tolerate narcissistic abuse. This is my narcissist energy, my narcissist card. So I feel like you are always kind and graceful. And I feel like I feel like in some way you've been mirroring this energy to this masculine. It might not be a twin flame that's coming through this reading. It's a narcissist that's around you, but I feel like you you might have some kind of higher purpose on the planet, right? Like a mirror soul connection, a twin flame connection. And I feel like you've been subject to a lot of narcissistic abuse, narcissistic attacks. And I feel like what's happening now is you're very graceful, you're very harmonious, you always kind of glide through and you mirror back to other people, you know, what they expect from you, which is grace, harmony. Swans are very beautiful, so you're very beautiful as well. But I feel like you've decided to break out of that. That's your shadow side where you just want to, you know, graze along and keep the peace and not create any waves or ripples. But I feel like you've had enough of being nice. It's like no more, no more Mrs. Nice girl no more mrs nice guy is what i'm, I'm feeling because i feel like you've reached a limit of narcissistic abuse with the glanconas energy so i feel like you have a shadow side and you just mirror this illusion back to people like you're just nice so i feel like there's no more no more mrs nice guy no more mrs nice girl is what just came through so i just heard like you are very graceful, very beautiful, very harmonious, and you basically just present yourself to these toxic people 
you know, in a mirrored energy where you just kind of tell them what they want to hear. You're like, it's not worth the drama. So you have a shadow side where you kind of don't stand up to narcissists, where you kind of tolerate narcissistic abuse. So I feel like you've been mirroring this kind of illusion and masking how you really feel. But I feel like something's changed within you. You're kind of over this narcissistic abuse. You're over this toxicity. And I feel like, yeah, you, you've, you've had enough of being abused being bullied being treated badly and i feel like you're about to make some big moves in your life and you're about to break out of a narcissistic relationship a breaking free from a narcissist so this could be an ex a parent a relationship but whatever however it applies to you you've decided i'm not tolerating this shit anymore i've had enough of this narcissist i've had enough of this toxicity and narcissism is, you know, demonic possession. So I feel like you've been dealing with some some nasty demons from this person. And they're constantly at you. And you're just like, I am done being nice to this person. I'm done tolerating their bullshit. And you have this shadow side where you're very pure, you're very innocent, you're very sweet. And you just tolerate the abuse. And I think you've just, you've reached your limit. And you're like, I've had enough. I'm done. I'm done taking their bullshit. I'm done with all of this. And you're breaking out of the shadow side where you were graceful and harmonious to abusers. You have been a victim of narcissistic abuse for long enough. And I feel like you're just like, I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm no longer going to be nice. I'm no more Mrs. Nice Girl. No more keeping the peace. None of that shit anymore. I deserve better than this. And you had a shadow side where you're just being nice, playing nice. And you've had enough. You're like, I'm done. I'm done being abused. I'm done being the victim. This person is going to get what they deserve. That's the, the energy that I'm getting. So I feel like it's a narcissist that has been abusing you for a while and you're ready to just stand up, stand strong, break free from being Miss Nice Lady, Miss Nice Girl. And yeah, that's the energy. All right, let's see what else. <laughs> okay, so we have a mouse. So, I feel like in the past, you kind of held back with your, this is still your energy, this isn't the other person, this is all about you today. So, I feel like in the past, you, you held back on speaking up. You were quiet as a mouse, and I feel like this is what you're breaking free from, this quiet, mousy energy, like quiet as a mouse. So, I feel that you were somebody that, you know, you cared what other people thought of you, so you didn't want to create ripple effects you don't want to create waves and i feel like you're moving away from this we have the lord's gonna energy you're just like i've got to move ahead i've got to move forward i've got to stop being that person and i feel like you want to start a new journey and you want to move away from this narcissistic abuse so i feel like you um are deciding to break free from your shadow side which is the spirit animal of the mouse mousy energy is like a bit nervous a bit scared to speak your truth and i feel like you've decided there's a move happening here we've got the lord's gonna so which is 3d physical exploration so i feel like you've been holding back on um expressing that you want to move forward from this this person that you want to move on and you want to break out of your shadow side of just being nice so i feel like you're nervous about you know just taking that leap of faith and just being like screw you I'm done. So I feel like there's a lot of narcissistic abuse that has caused you to be nervous because you know how toxic this person is. So it's kind of like, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to release myself from this. And you're finally breaking out of your shadow side that just wanted to keep the peace. So I feel like you're, you're making some big moves right now to release yourself from a toxic narcissistic cycle of abuse. So I feel like you're almost about to take this leap of faith, but you're a bit nervous about it. So that's the energy. Let's see what's making you so nervous. Oh, 
<laughs> so we have the spirit animal of the bee. So I feel like, you know, it's going to be a lot of energy, a lot of effort, a lot of hard work to break free from this toxic situation or person. So I feel like you're like, oh my God, do I have the energy? It's going to be a lot of hard work. But I feel like, you know, once you get through the other side, it'll be totally worth it. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you think this narcissist is going to be difficult. They're going to be hard work and it's going to require a lot of energy, effort and confidence. I feel like, you know, you're, you're nervous because you, you feel like you lack the courage and the confidence. And this is all about the solar plexus chakra. So I just feel like you're nervous because you're like, do I have the strength? Do I have the energy to do this? Clarify this. I feel like this is quite a specific message. So this might not resonate with everybody. Oh, shit. Okay, so I feel like um, the singer of healing has come out because it's really necessary for part of your healing to take this step. So as nervous as you are, this is part of your healing journey. This is part of your healing your solar plexus chakra, which is all about confidence, courage, self-worth. So I feel like, you know, in the past, you didn't have, you know, the self-confidence, the self-worth to um, stand up for yourself. And now this is all part of how you've healed. You're healing your solar plexus chakra. You're healing your confidence. You're healing your self-esteem. You might have had low self-esteem in the past because of this narcissistic abuse. So this person damaged your confidence. They damaged your self-esteem. They um, made you feel, you know, really, really small like a mouse. And I feel like, you know, this is part of your healing journey, breaking free from, from this connection. And this was your shadow side, you know, not standing up for yourself, tolerating this abuse, not closing out this cycle. So what's the strongest thing that spirit would like you to know right now? I feel like you're going through a tough period. Okay. We have the Piper. So you feel a strong magnetic pull towards this path because it is the right path for you so i feel like you're nervous about taking the step and you're like oh am i making the right decision but you feel this strong magnetic pull and that is spirit guiding you because it's part of your healing journey you have to take this step in order to heal yourself so i'm going to take this over to the extended reading now we're going to find a little bit more there but basically you know you're someone who was very graceful and you kind of you know didn't speak your mind to keep the peace and you're breaking out of that shadow side so you have the shadow side that you know mirrored an illusion back to people tell them everything they wanted to hear just because you didn't want to create waves you didn't want to you know, stir the pot, but I think, you know, you're ready now to move on from that and take a leap of faith on a new journey. And it's a part of your healing. I feel like people pleasing energy coming through, like you would just rather not speak your mind because it's easier than just being honest. So there's a little bit of people pleasing energy here. Clarify this. Okay, it says, I am precious and I cherish who I am. So Spirit is saying, you are precious. This person abused you. You were a victim here. You've been suffering from a long, a long-term amount of narcissistic abuse. You've been dealing with someone very demonic and narcissistic. So Spirit is saying, you are precious to us. They cherish you. You are worthy of your own love and you don't have to earn love any more than you have a right to earn the right to breathe. So I am worthy of love. I don't have to earn love any more than I have to earn the right to breathe. So you don't have to earn anybody's love more than you have to earn the air that is provided, you know, by the earth in our lungs. We don't have to earn the air and the oxygen provided in our in our lungs to be alive and the same goes for love you don't have to earn love you don't have to overgive or overextend yourself to be lovable so spirit is saying you're precious and cherish yourself we cherish you and you're worthy of love all right i really hope this helps you take care see you next time bye aquarius